Hello, Mr. Herd here. I just want to give you a quick reminder that our class will not be held on Thursday, but it will be on Tuesday. It will be our last one of the year, and it's going to be our Bottle Rocket relaunch. So if you haven't had a chance to make it to any of the Thursday classes, here's your chance. Tuesday at 3.30, click on the link. In Schoology, it's on the right-hand side. It says Mr. Hurd's Fun Science Class. I hope to see you there. What I want to do now is give you a quick recap of what we did last week in our Fun Science Class, Alcohol and Beyond. So there were three different types of alcohol that was introduced. The first was methyl alcohol or methanol. It's primarily used as an industrial solvent. For example, uh, it's used as paint removers and photocopier developers also use methyl alcohol. People with experience and know-how also use methanol to make other chemicals. Formaldehyde forms as a byproduct of degrading methanol. Some industries use this byproduct to make everything from plastics to explosives. It also works to fuel internal combustion engines and keeps other fuels from freezing, such as antifreeze in a car, thanks to its high freezing point of negative 143.68 degrees Fahrenheit. The next type of an alcohol that we talked about was isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol. This is our sterilization type of alcohol, and it's used for cleaning surfaces, tools, and human bodies. Doctors and nurses use it quite often to rub an area where they're going to inject a needle into you, making sure that the area is sterile and clean. Because it evaporates very fast, it's a popular choice for cleaning electronics. Um, it's also found in everyday cleaning products as well. Um, you can also find isopropyl alcohol in cosmetics and lotions. The third type of alcohol is called ethyl alcohol or ethanol. As you remember last week, if you were there, we worked with yeast and we made pizza dough and we found that ethanol was found in the pizza dough. So this is the people's alcohol. This is the one that people drink and we found out in class Wednesday with Miss Hoswald that there are different reasons why people drink alcohol um, on a physiological basis what it does it alters the mood and behaviors it also slows down your reflexes what the body does with ethanol on a physical level is the liver is the main um, part of the body that takes this alcohol and it filters it out of the body. The trouble comes when people drink more alcohol faster than the liver can process it out of the body. That's when we get into problems and it starts to become toxic and the blood alcohol level starts to rise. We found out that 2 billion people worldwide drink alcohol every single day. It's a very popular drink. We also learned that wine is actually considered a food in several countries across the world. So that was pretty interesting. Ethyl alcohol, although people drink it, it's also found in industrial cleaners as well. Now here is the kicker right here. Ethyl alcohol is also found in hand sanitizer. Isn't that interesting? So the difference between what people drink and what people use it for to clean with is that the ethanol or the ethyl alcohol has been denatured. And what that means is that the ethanol has additives to make it poisonous, bad tasting, foul smelling, 
or nauseating to discourage recreational consumption. So basically it has a whole bunch of stuff in it so that you don't drink it or consume it. Denatured alcohol is used also for alcohol burners and camping stoves. So that's pretty interesting. So what we did for our experiment is we took a bottle of regular old hand sanitizer and we laid some down and um, sprayed some out on a cement paver, as you can see there in number two on the picture. Okay, what we did after that is we lit it on fire and in the picture number three over on the right hand side, that hand sanitizer is actually on fire but you can't see the fire can you it doesn't appear to be there so what i did we took a paper towel and we held it about four to five inches above the hand sanitizer and as you can see in picture number four it lit on fire for us to see it better what we did was we turned the lights off and in picture number five, you can actually now see the flame. Although you couldn't see it in picture number three, it wasn't there. But in picture number five, when it's a little bit darker, it makes it a little more clear to see the flame. And we looked at it and we admired all of the colors, the pretty blue and purple, and the orange and the yellow. We also discovered that the blue part of the flame is actually hotter than the yellow part of the flame. Our students indicated that they use hand sanitizer anywhere from sometimes to all the time. Uh, one of the students uses hand sanitizer every time they get into the car. Another student uses it anytime they touch something outside of their house. And then we had one student who uses hand sanitizer to start uh, campfires which was very interesting. That student was ahead of the game. We also talked about uh, hand sanitizer versus washing your hands with soap and water. When you use hand sanitizer, you want to make sure that it contains a minimum of 60% alcohol to be effective. Okay, and the more alcohol that's in the hand sanitizer, the better it is and the more effective it'll be. Our takeaways, we had five takeaways for our lab. The first was that ethyl alcohol is the main ingredient in hand sanitizer. It's denatured and denatured means that there's a bunch of yucky stuff in it so that people don't drink it. Hand sanitizer must contain at least 60% alcohol to be effective. And then finally, if you do use hand sanitizer, wait for at least one minute before going near any flames. Well, it was a lot of fun. It was very interesting, that's for sure. Once again, remember Tuesday this week, not Thursday, it's going to be Tuesday at 3.30. We're going to have our rocket reboot. And I hope to see you there. It's our last one.